Okay, so you are, we're here, we have our avatar, and she's been all jazzed up. I actually did some extra jazzing while you guys were away, waiting for me to post the next one. <laughs> so sorry, I didn't do much, I just fixed up her, this corner part of her boob, and I may have drawn on a little dot more for nipples, which you can't really tell, unless you're looking at it from the side, and they do kind of look pointy, so I'll forget it. If I need nipples, I'll just, you know, buy some designer attachments from the marketplace. Alright, so now we have our avatar. We're going to try out... Wait a minute, I just noticed something. I may have pinched her wrist a bit too much. Look at that. That's bad. Alright, let me fix that real quick. There we go. <laughs> All fixed. Alright, now everything's better. Because her wrist went like kind of in. Like, you imagine somebody like pulling your hand backwards. That looked gross. Alright, so now she's all fixed. And I'm going to hit save so that way I, I don't have to deal with that later. Alright, so my avatar is ready. And now it's time to test the rigging and see if everything is fine. Um, sometimes it, it, you may have to just go over it or add some weights. I think the fit mesh may not be activated. But we're going to check that out. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into object mode. And we're going to select the bones, what I just did. And then we're going to go from object mode to pose mode. And you'll see the bones change color. And I actually just remembered now that that is not the way we do things in Avastar 2. Alright, to go into weight paint mode, we have to go into the Avastar tab and then go into the settings mode and then press the skin and weight button. Ugh, gotta love proper workflow. Bleh. And we're gonna wait for it to switch over. Sure, it's taking a minute. Alright, there we go. So I fixed the skin and weight button and then I accidentally pressed it again. So now we gotta wait for that again. Cause in a minute now it's gonna start working. There we go. Now it works. <laughs> and now when we press R, we should be able to move our body and our bones and stuff like that and see what it is that you want. Press that. And we can try moving it again. Legs look fine. Alright, let's try moving it from this way. Okay, that also looks good. Um, that's not very good, but let me try it again. I think I get what's going. It's supposed to look like there's a leg here. If you can't see through all these bones, you can come over here to the rig display and you can, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Let's see a second light face. Huh. Alright, well, if you can't see it through all these bones, click on them and press H. And it should go away if it didn't change that much. Goodness gracious me, I swear I hate this version of Avastar. It's like, it hates you too, one of those kind of things. Alright, so I'm just going to press the bones I don't need to see right now and press H. Get them out of my way. Alright, you can see how it's bending. Let's look at it this way. Ugh. Alright, I don't... I'm not a particular fan of that. So we're going to have to do some correcting in there. Alright. Let's click on our body and go into weight paint mode. Alright, there we go. Much better. Alright, so there's some issues in the league we're going to have to take care of. Now I'm going to click on my boobs, and like I thought, there was no boob weight to add it. Um, there's a number of ways to fix this, but I found that the easiest is to just to click on the bones that you want in here. Um, like, for example, I want the breasts to have jiggle weights. Um, so I'm just going to click on the pec bone that's here, and we're going to go to weights, and then assign automatic from bones. I think you can do multiple bones at once. You don't have to just do it one at a time. So I'm waiting for it to come in. Go, 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 go. And I think it's low lagging because I still have second life open. I have two second lives. So I'm going to wait for this to unfreeze for a second. And then I'm going to go and turn second life off. Alright, so hang on one second. I'm going to go turn second life off so this won't... This is stop lagging. <laughs> Not only did I have two second lives on, but I had two additional blenders open and uh, a Wii emulator. <laughs> so let's select. Um, anyway, so as you see now, it's not lagging when I go to click on stuff. So um, how do you know when there's something without weights? Well, when you look, click on something that is unweighted, 
or it doesn't have any kind of vertex groups on here you'll see your avatar turns magenta so if your avatar is magenta when you click on a bone then that means it has no weights whatsoever on us so we're going to click the other boob bone and we're just going to do the same thing and then do assign um, automatic from bones and it should snap a lot faster now that all that gunk is closed and all was wrong it still freezes huh guess it's just not my day Hopefully your computer won't freeze when you do this. So I'm just going to pause it until it works and see how that goes. Alright, let's see. Now we can try adding more weights if you want to. Uh, if you want your butt to jiggle, oh, this is where you can customize your fit mesh stuff. If you want your butt to jiggle, just select your butt bone that's back there. And you can just do the same thing. Um, assign automatic from weights. And wait for it to do it. Oh, it's a sign automatic from bones, not automatic from weights. Sure is lagging. Ugh. Alright, so you see now I have some butt there. So let's look at that leg thing we had earlier. Yeah, that's not good. That's pretty bad. I think it's doing that because it may have some, it's a conflicting weight there. So I think the only thing that could possibly be it is the pelvis bone. Yeah, see this pelvis weight all the way down here. And um, if we get rid of that, I'm going to turn off texture solid so I can get a better look on this. So um, let me see. If I turn down the weights, turn this up, and just remove it across here underneath it, away from there. Alright, let's see how it looks when we move our leg back again. Alright, it morphs. And it morphs a lot better than it was before. I mean, it's not perfect, it's not pretty, but it's prettier than, you know, what it was a second ago. So you can turn it off. It kind of looks like that. Ugh. <laughs> we can just keep petting at it, turning the weights down. Let's see if that helps a bit. Oops. Alright, let's do the same thing. Uh, I guess the realistically the bone would should stop here. Go here. Uh we can wait paint it some more, I guess. It's fine. It's fine. It's just a run through. Yeah, see, we wait paint this. And then this is why I said we need um what's that thing called? This is why I said we needed sparkles because I want to make sure I get this identically over here. So what we do is we click on this other leg bone. And I go to Avastar and scroll down to Weight Tools, and I'm going to choose Shape and Mirror Bones. There we go. So now it's the same as that leg. Everything is all nice and easy. Okay, now one more thing I was trying to say before about our uh, weights and stuff. I really don't care about having fit mesh legs because I don't plan on changing her shape I think this is exactly how I want it but if you want to add more fit mesh bones or something to yours uh, make it more customizable you can just select multiple ones at a time just click on the diamonds um, and hold down shift while you click on it so click hold down shift click on another one hold down, keep on down shift click on another one as many as you want and then you can go weights um, assign automatic from bones and then it should copy it over there so. but remember the more weights you check on here the m closer you get to getting that error second life will only support 110 uh, weight groups on one solid piece so if you get that error you may have to um, so let me see what else if you get that error you may have to remove some groups or cut it a part off of it like just sever the head Whew, so much talking. I'm not used to it no more. <laughs> Alright, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press H and get rid of all these purple bones inside the pelvis because I don't need them. They're just troublemakers. 
It's like a bazillion spines. Oh, wait, I think I got rid of something important. And pelvis. Yeah, we want to keep that. <laughs> Alright, so tail out of here. Tail five. Tail six. It's selecting everything but the one I want spine to. There we go. Get out of here. And I don't need groin. I'm a lady. <laughs> Alright, so I have everything um bentoid. I don't need it off. Um what we're gonna do next is we're gonna run a script real quick and clean it up. So I like to go here, here, and then we're gonna remove uh, well, you're going into our vertex group mode, and we're going to go to the little downward pointing arrow, and then we're going to select remove unused vertex groups, and it's just going to remove some junk stuff that we don't need. All right, so that's everything. Help reduce that error, and of course, our fingers and stuff are already rigged, so I don't have to worry about that. See, fingers are done. All right, so that's it for our, our avatar. Now it's time for us to go and export.